Our guest today is Aaron Briggs, a lawyer out of Gibson, Dunn and Crutcher in the San Francisco area. Aaron's become one of my go-to people for all things corporate and securities law related. He used to work at General Electric doing some innovative things with the proxy materials, the proxy statement, the annual report. I'm Brock Romanek, today on Zippy Point. So what about the tricky thing of adding new shares? Do you have to file a new SA when you realize you're, you've done your share accounting, you realize you're running low, or can you just file a post-effective amendment to your existing SA to add more shares? So unfortunately, the rules don't let you just file a post-effective amendment. Um, you'll have to file a new S8. Um, but what you can do is file a short form S8. And so instead of filing a new registration statement that has all of, all of the required sections that we just talked about, you can file a shorter version that consists just of the cover page, an explanatory note explaining you know, what you're doing and what the previous, previous filing was, your exhibits, signatures, and then anything that's changed since the last time you did the S8. And so you know, one thing that's uh, good to keep in mind or that often changes that people don't uh, remember is that, you know, if you've updated your uh, indemnification provisions and your bylaws for your directors and officers since you filed an S-8, you know, you'll want to update the description and put it in your short form. 